wipe your ass, then f***ing go wipe your ass. Fuck Chinese, homie. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. And we're gonna come strong. We're coming strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm bringing this and I'm bringing everything that the f they bring to our country. You feel me? As soon as he came on, he started talking about Chinese people and the coronavirus. For me, not being Chinese, I didn't pick it up right away. I just thought, okay, what's happening? You know, is he's just somebody who's drunk going on and on about, you know, his fears. And then my friend actually noticed that he was looking at me. And then at some point, I started noticing from my peripheral that he was gesturing towards me as he's ranting on and on about Chinese and how dirty Chinese people are. Um, and at some point after, I would say probably about 10 minutes, I really started getting scared because it wasn't stopping. It just started escalating more and more. Coronavirus has become a cause and also an excuse for more overt, for, uh, overt acts of bigotry. I think for our Chinese people, um, there's been this conditioning in the United States to be fearful of China, whether that's because of the tra trade war or something else. So I don't think we should be surprised. And we know that historically, um, you know, public health concerns, fear of disease, has been a way to try and marginalize uh, a community in order to scapegoat them for other problems that may be happening in society. talk about the Chinese virus, and, uh, and I mean it, that's where it came from. This was uh, the Chinese virus, but I don't have to say it if they feel so strongly about it, we'll see.